And welcome to episode 62 of this Toronto Maple Leafs NHL 22 playthrough up here taking on the Nashville Predators. If you've watched the last few episodes, and a lot of people have, you'll know that I've definitely been struggling. I think we're at three or four losses in a row. In the last game, I was so upset at the end of the game, I said, I'm so done with this game. So I took a couple of days off, but we're back at it against the Nashville Predators here. We're going to see if we can get back to normal. Made some changes. Put William Nylander back on the top line with Austin Matthews because that line was clicking early on in the season. So we're going to go back with that. That means Mitch Marner drops down to play with John Tavares. Also, if you picked episode number 62 as the number episode that I change all the jersey numbers to the correct numbers, you are correct. I did that as well before the start of this game. Nashville. Not great in this game, but I said the same thing in the last episode against the Carolina Hurricanes, and look how that worked out for us. Here's Matthews to take the draw. He doesn't win it back to Morgan Riley. Um, also made some defensive changes here. I got Riley playing with Giordano, because Giordano was not playing enough early on, and uh, that means Labushkin's dropped down, but that's okay. Here's Nylander in, trying to get that quick first early goal that Toronto's become so good at. Morgan Riley got tripped up there. No call on the play, not a surprise. Just like the video game, or just like in real life, I should say, Toronto Maple Leafs not getting the calls in the video game world. But we carry on. There's a nice play by Giordano to take his man off the puck. He doesn't get to the boards, though, so Nylander turns it over. Not a surprise there for William Nylander. And a huge stop there by Jack Soupy Campbell, who's back in net because, uh, yeah, you know, Morazic has just been awful in this game. And I can't get a save with him, it, it appears. Uh, so... There's a nice turnover forced by Matthews. He tries to get around Yossi, and Yossi kind of just tracked him back there. Don't know how he knew where he's going, but uh, I don't. I didn't see what happened there. Was that a hit behind the play? Was it Matthews? I don't know. Morgan Riley's going to the box here. Two minutes for roughing. No, it's four on four. Oh, it's because fight, every time it says fight initiated, it automatically goes to four on four. There's a nice steal by Tavares. Tavares, the backhand shot, just puts it wide. Jake Muzzin's going to pinch up. Hey, Jake Muzzin should be back in the lineup soon for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, he's wearing the red no-contact jersey at practice right now. There's a long shot. Oh, here's Giordano walking into it. It's blocked. And here's Nylander. Nylander around the shot, the save. Uh, not sure who's in net for... Oh, let's go. Let's go. Nylander scores. I bet you it's UC Sorrow. So there's his 35th of the season. William Nylander. Have a career year. It's 1-0 Toronto. It's not UC Sorrow's. It's David Riddick, former Toronto Maple Leaf David Riddick, in the net for the Nashville Predators. That means we got an opportunity to uh, score some goals. And we need to score some goals. But we also need to have a solid defensive effort. Oh, there's Giordano getting level off the puck. And it's a 2-1. Oh, right after the goal. It's Duchesne coming in and scoring. I mean, honestly, I don't think there's anything I can do to prevent that. I really don't think so. And could that have been a penalty? I don't know. So two 4-on-4 four four goals here. And it's 1-1 one, one, just five minutes in. And now we're going to come back and look for more. Rasmus Sandin looking for help. Oh, nice move by Sandin. Sandin in the front of the net. And it's stopped by Riddick. Yeah, so in the last couple of games uh, for the Toronto Maple Leafs in real life, they had a 51 safe shot performance against the Montreal Canadiens. Shot save performance? Is that what I just said? I feel like that's exactly what I just said. Oh, nice face-off win by Spezza. Labushkin blocked. Lily Grant can't hold it. Uh, 51 shot uh, against the Montreal Canadiens on Saturday night. They lost that game. Uh, Sheldon Keefe said after that game that he'd take that performance every single time out. And um, the very next night against the Florida Panthers, the Leafs had a solid effort. Not as good as their effort against the uh, Montreal Canadiens, but they actually did win. So that is uh, good news in Toronto Maple Leafs world in real life. Uh, for a little brief second there, they dropped down into the wild card. 
uh, which is kind of surprising. Is that Zidane Ochara playing on the Nashville Predators? It is. He must have got traded in this game. Spets is taking a lot of draws here. That's all right, though. He's winning them. That's what I like. Here's Simmons. Simmons out of the zone. Simmons is in. Simmons to the front of the net. Backhand shot stopped by Riddick. Spezza and Muzzin try to hold the puck at the line. They can't. Lubushkin's there, though. And Simmons right back in. Simmons with the drive. Turned aside. Um, yeah, their performance against the uh, Florida Panthers at Scotiabank Arena on Sunday night, the rare Sunday night home game, was a good one. Uh, winning 5-2. Austin Matthews setting a career high in goals, so that's always good to see as well. He's probably going to hit 50 this year, so remember that lockout, or that lockout, the COVID short year. Here's Marner with nice move and he scores. Great move there by Mitch Marner to get around his man, and he restores the Toronto Maple Leafs one goal lead. You'll remember in the lockout, no, I said it again, the lockout, the COVID shortened year, <laughs> Austin Matthews could have hit 50, but then the Leafs were supposed to take on the Nashville Predators on, I believe it was March 10th or March 11th. I can't remember. And uh, that's when the season was called. And um, yeah, he didn't have a chance to reach 50. So this year he'll definitely have a shot. Will he get to 60? I think that's the real question. Uh, they've got about uh, about a month left. I think the season ends on the 29th of April, so exactly a month left, actually. Um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, I think Austin Matthews will be the first person to tell you that 50 or 60 goals in the regular season means nothing if the Leafs can't finally do something in the playoffs. And regardless of who they play in the playoffs, it's going to be a tough matchup. Because if they fall back to the wild card spot, they're playing one of Carolina, Florida, even Boston at this point. Who knows? It's probably going to be Carolina, Florida as the two division winners. But you never know. There's a turnover. Brutal one by Blackwell. Now Forsberg. Oh, wow. Did you see that move? That was fancy. Morgan Riley turns it over. Another shot for Forsberg. And there's Soupy saving the day. That was a sick move by Forsberg. I don't think I've seen a move quite like that in this game. Yeah, and we are 62 episodes in, plus all of the World Juniors videos and the Women's World Championship videos. Um, winning lots of face-offs here early. Don't want to jinx that, but that's a good sign. Uh, here's Mitch Marner taking on Roman Yossi. He gets the shot, and Redick will stand tall and make that save. Um, coming up this week, the Leafs have the big bad Boston Bruins. That's actually going to happen tonight when I post this video. Um, taking on Boston in Boston. I think it's the first time the Leafs have been to Boston in a long time. I don't think they played there this year. I think they've only played the one game against the Bruins so far. Uh, which, and that was at Scotiabank. Oh, here's Marner coming in. Marner back in shot. The rebound. Two huge stops by David Riddick. Oh my goodness. And that keeps the game at 2-1. Mikheyev stealing the puck just on side. He holds the line. And here's uh, McKayev in. McKayev, the backhand shot stopped by Riddick. The rebound is right there. Martyr again, right all over it. And for some reason, we can't beat David Riddick. He's standing tall in net for the Predators. There's a centering pass in front. Great stick there by Jake Muzzin to knock it away from Granlund. Timoshev is going to come away with the puck. That's the, is that for, former Toronto Ma Maple Leaf Dimitro Timoshev? It's got to be. There's Soupy with another nice save. McKayev's going to skate this puck out. Is that icing? They're gonna call. They're gonna wave off the icing. I think that's the right call. And here's Timoshev in, broken up there by Sandine. He'll throw it on that. That was supposed to go behind the net, but uh, didn't quite work out that way. Here's Nylander. Nylander with Matthews. Matthews to the net. Nylander the feed. Hit the post. Went off the back pad, and Riddick reaches and holds on. Good stop there by David Riddick. Lots of shots here early on for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Hey, Patrick Marlowe's on this team. They must have acquired him as well. Um, Nashville, one of the worst teams in the league in this series simulation, has acquired Patrick Marlowe and Zidane Chara for some reason. Uh, I guess they felt like they needed some veterans in the locker room. Uh, it's not really working out for them that well, though. Here's Bunting and Bunting. I hit the pass button. Oh, now you're going to pass it. Okay. 
Anyway, gets to Matthews, open wing. Matthews, back for Bunting. Here's Labushkin. Labushkin's in. Bunting was leveled in the corner, apparently. No call. Labushkin's onto this puck with Bunting, and it's turned over there. Did not see what happened there, but uh, Bunting was very slow to get up. There's Duchesne in front, and Colton Sevier scores. That was a bad breakdown on my part. And it's 2-2. We're giving up lots of goals, folks. I don't think that trend is going to end. We just got to keep it hoping that we can outscore our problems here as we look to get into the playoffs. We're currently one point up on the final wildcard spot. Giordano, nice hold. Stopped by Riddick. The former Calgary Flames teammates connect on that one there. Remember that leaderboard at the start of the year was all Toronto Maple Leafs in terms of hits? Now it's not so much. Ever since we switched to Superstar Difficulty, the hits haven't seemed to register. Also, Justin Hall's not in the lineup for us right now. We're playing Lil Ugrin, Um because I had a moment where I just hated Justin Hall for a while. Um, Justin Hall's been a lot better since the new year, since the calendar flipped over to 2022. There's a great save by David Riddick at the end of the period to keep this game tied up at twos. Shots were 13 to eight for your Toronto Maple Leafs in that period. But the score is tied at two as we head to the second here. Yeah, I've been very impressed with Justin Hall's effort as well. Uh, recently, he's playing well in on a pair with TJ Brody, who is injured in this game right now. If you're wondering where TJ Brody is in this simulation, he's out as is Kasha. Um, TJ Brody should be back a lot sooner than Kasha, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see how long it's going to be. I thought TJ Brody was going to be back for this game, but he wasn't. But that's okay. Here's Morgan Riley looking for help. He does a spin move and he finally does get it up to William Nylander. Nylander's got Matthews again. Nylander could not get it to Matthews. It looked like his pass hit the side of the net there. Um, yes, tonight's game against the Boston Bruins should be very interesting. Great stick by Morgan Riley there. Man, great pass there from Philip Forsberg. He's I guess he's got a lot of skill in this game or something. That is a terrible pass from Morgan Riley. That uh, is going to allow Granlin to come right back in. Giordano, great stick. Soup moved that puck to Tavares. Tavares has got lots of space here to find Mikheyev. Mikheyev. He's been fantastic this year for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yeah, the Boston Bruins 9-1-1 one one in their last 11 or something like that. Um, so it's going to be a tough matchup for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And I'd imagine after his performance against the Florida Panthers that Peter Morazic will get the start in net. That is my prediction. Anyway, here's Tavares and clap it. Tavares turned aside there by Riddick. Nylander overskates the puck. Out come the Predators again. Tolvin in it. He's leveled there by Labushkin. Can't get the puck out again. Lots of turnovers here for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Great stop by Sue. As that puck is deflected into the corner. I yeah. Uh, um, I don't know if I would say that my faith has totally been restored on Peter Morazic in real life. Definitely not in the video game, that's for sure. Oh yeah, here we go. Mikheyev! Shot blocked. Um, but he was definitely a lot better in last night's game against the... Florida Panthers um, when he's not swimming in the net um, he's a lot better there's a chance for Kerfoot and Blackwell to connect playing on the third line here this third line has been atrocious I have not been able to find the right combination of players here to get this line going um, at all as that puck is chipped back in oh Jake Muzzin what happened there That puck was right on line, passed to my player, and he just missed it. And now Tolvanen scores, it's in the back of our net, and now we're down. This was the reason in the last episode I said I was done with this game. Spezza, face-off win. Simmons. Spezza was held up there trying to go to the front of the net. That definitely could have been an interference penalty, but no call. Ugh. The frustration in this game drives me absolutely mad. You're senior again! 
every shot goes in. It's 4-2 for the Predators. The worst part about this is I feel like every episode we go up 1-0. And we just can't do anything with it. Spets is checked there. And now they can just check and defend. All three Toronto Maple Leafs there. Spezza, uh, Engvall, and Simmons were just clumped up together there. Oh. All right, let's try and get something going here. We were playing a good second period up until that point. The puck has dropped back there. Sandine was changing at the bench? Not sure. The cat is going crazy in Nashville. And here's Sandine. Sandine knocked once off the puck, but he hangs on. He's got no help. Chara gets the puck there. Sandine, nope. Oh, man. Great stick by Angval. He breaks up that play. Angval, get that speed. Get on your horse, Angval. Angval, in front of Matthews. Turned aside by Riddick. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Every shot that Nashville gets like that, or any team for that matter, goes in. There's a great stop by Soup. But every time I get a cross crease pass and stopped, like, you've got to be kidding me. Here's Nylander in. Nylander stops up to the front of the net. The backhand shot turned aside. The Leafs are still pressing here. Bunting. Oh, man. I thought I had a lane there. Couldn't get it. That puck is knocked off of the stick of Bunting, so no icing on this play. Morgan Riley up to Austin Matthews. Does he have a step? He does not. And he'll just turn back, and the puck gets knocked off of his stick. Yikes, folks. Doesn't matter how much you dominate this game. Here's Marner in. He fires it wide. Matthews back onto the puck. Matthews playing with uh, Marner here. Giordano holds the line. But KF is checked. And here comes Roman Yossi. Like, what the hell is Roman Yossi doing so far up, up in that play there? He's a defenseman, for God's sakes. Luckily, that one uh, didn't result in the puck being in the back of our net. And now Roman Yossi's coming all the way back here to get that puck. Is this Tyler Myers? Kind of looks like it. He's a big guy. I don't think he plays for Nashville in real life either. Here's Colton Sissons. Need I remind you that Nashville is one of the worst teams in this league? I don't know what happened there, but that was definitely a dive that I've ever seen one in my life. The frustration continues here. In the second period, the Toronto Maple Leafs don't get a goal. Despite, in my opinion, outplaying Nashville for most of that period. Ooh, that being said, I think I only had three shots, so uh, maybe I didn't outplay them. 6-3 of the shots in that period. Got to get more shots towards the net. Um, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. The goal of this period is just to fire pucks towards the net and see what happens. And it starts off with a good face-off win. But we didn't get it. It was a scramble. There's a penalty. Finally, the refs decide to blow their whistle. And Nashville's going to the power play. Good news is it their power play is only operating at 12%. Bad news, our penalty killing is only 67%. Forsberg! Again, can't do anything about that. I dropped my controller. That one was my fault. I will admit that. But holy crap. Can I not get a break? All right, pucks towards the net. That's the goal. Matthews to the front of the net scores. Backhand goal there for Austin Matthews. The cat's going crazy, but Austin Matthews has just made it a two goal game again. And now we gotta go back and look for more. We're gonna lean on Matthews here, I think. Austin Matthews back into the zone. The backhand shot, glove there by Riddick. Great stop there by Reddick to keep it a two-goal game. Colton Sevier, one goal away from the hat trick. If we lose this game because I made that stupid play, throwing out that puck on the power play, I am going to be very frustrated with myself. Matthews wins the draw. Bunting, shot stopped. Read there perfectly, I guess, by... There's Nylander scoring! I was going to say it was perfectly read by David Riddick there. 
But Nylander, elevated to the first line in this game, has two goals on the night, beats Riddick. And now, that costly throwout might have cost me. Or we're about to find out. 5 4 here. Got to try and get another goal here quick. I feel better if we score this one quick. I don't want to hang on to this and be like, you know, trying to find it in the last couple seconds. Matthew's backhand shot was wide open there in front, and Riddick will glove it. Austin Matthews there in the top 10 in points in the NHL. That's exciting. Ball Cheldon keeps sticking with Matthews here. Why not? He's feeling it. Matthews checked there by Philip Forsberg. Great play. Ball Chell and Keith was like, if you're going to give up the puck like that, change off, change off is what I heard him yell. Nashville just trying to play keep away here. They're really playing keep away here. Like, this is ridiculous. Skate the puck forward. Do something with it. Tolvin in in. Stop. Matthews tried to play it back to Giordano. Screwed that up. Bunty, great stick. Get it out. Get it out. No, turned over again. Nashville, right onto this puck here. And here's Mitch Marner, just fresh off the bench. Mitch Marner. He's got Matthews with him. Marner turns back for a second. Doesn't move. Marner to the front of the net. And he's checked there. And just like I said in the last episode, every little check results in them losing the puck. There's a huge hit. Not sure who made it. But Nashville's controlling the puck here in the zone. Nice stick there by Mikheyev. He'll get it up to Mitch Marner. Mitch Marner. Waiting. Taking. Turned aside there by Riddick. Mikheyev onto the puck. Mikheyev to the front of the net. And he scores! Ilya Mikheyev with his 11th goal of the season. The new line combination seemed to be working because the top two lines are clicking. Guys, it's 5-5. Five -five. We only had three shots in the second period. We have more than that in this period, and it's resulted in three goals. Strap in, folks. This one's going to be a wild finish. Here's Camp then. Camp. Oh, man. Riddick read it perfectly. Come on, Camp. Get that puck. Knock it off, Duchesne. We don't like Duchesne. Here's Kerfoot with the puck. Kerfoot tries to play it into the corner. Can't do it. And it's turned over again. Here comes Nashville. Straight up the middle. Colton Sevier looking for the hat trick. Labushkin can't level him. I, I had him lined up. Echo man. Oh, Campbell, hold on to that puck. I may, I've learned my lesson. I'm not pressing the pass button. No, thank you. We'll take our chances in the defensive zone, especially with Jason Spezza taking the face off. Oh, yeah. 950 remaining in this game. Spezza wins the draw. Labushkin. Just barely gets it out. Yikes, that could have been dangerous. Nice pass there to Colton Sevier. Nice sauce. Here's Myers into the zone. Patrick Marlowe's on the ice right now, and I already criticized him earlier in this game, and usually when I criticize a player, it comes back to haunt me somehow. So uh, here's Sandine jumping into play again. Don't know why he's doing that because he's a defenseman. Here's Angval. He's held up. That's definitely a penalty. He had the puck there. You've got to be kidding me. Labushkin's in. Labushkin forces his man off the puck. Nice to see a little check there from my players working in my favor for once. Sandine behind the net. Sandine looking. Sandine still has nobody. Sandine still has nobody. Kind of, maybe he probably did have Spezza there, but I didn't want to make that little short pass. Sandine's back to collect this puck though. Sandine with six minutes left. We've got to get something here. Sandine. Oh, nice shot. Turned aside there by Riddick. Wayne Simmons takes his man with a couple of hard hits into the board there. There's Duchesne. And like that, we're going to force him to make a dump into the zone. That was almost dangerous as well. Here's Sandine out to Angval. Angval still out. Probably could have made a change, but he's around his man. Angval in front. Tavares is there. He's definitely tied up there by Chara. That should have been a penalty as well. Will Ugrin back in. Being hounded there. Will Ugrin. Gets the puck out, though, to Marner. Just for a second, though, it's turned back over. Oh, man. There's lots of chances there. Here's William Grenan looking for his first of this series. And he'll shoot it off the blocking arm of Riddick. And up and out of play. 
Toronto dominating the time on attack here. John Tavares to take the draw here. Tied 5-5 with 3.13 remaining. Are we in just get a point territory? Or are we going to try and go for two here? Right in regulation. Lilligren, shot. McKay of the rebound. He had it, but didn't have anybody with him. Tavares behind the net. And here's Marner with the puck. He's held up. Marner over to Tavares. Tavares has got it. Yes! Yes! Tavares scores! Mitch Marner controlled all the attention there in the corner. Left John Tavares wide open in front of the net. Oh, and I think this is the first time we've seen John Tavares making it snappy. Not sure what goal number that is for Tavares. But what a huge, huge third period here for your Toronto Maple Leafs. It's 6-5. Again, not the way we want to win games. But it sure is exciting. Here's Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews gets around Chara. He throws it in front. William Nylander was there. And Bunting, look at that great play by Bunting to keep the puck away from Nashville. Matthews will just get it in deep here. We're in the last minute of play here. In the third period, we just got to play some solid hockey here for the next 50 seconds. Nylander intercepts it, and they'll just chip it in deep. Keeping the Predators in their own zone is great news. As the clock ticks down to 39 seconds, the Predators are pulling their goalie. And that puck is going to go offside. We'll see if they hang on here and play with their net empty, even though they don't have it in the offensive zone. And they have decided to play with the net empty. Going with John Tavares' line here. They've had a solid game. Tavares, huge face-off. He has good timing. Doesn't win it. But somehow we get the puck, and Mitch Marner will seal the deal. A two-goal game for Mitch Marner. It's 7-5. And like I said, I, I said I was really bad at this game, but it's a five-goal third period for your Toronto Maple Leafs. When they were down by three, I guess this is why Nashville is one of the worst teams in this series simulation. Nashville's pulling their goal again. Marner tries to get it out. Can't initially. Gets it to Tavares. Marner looking for the hat trick, and he gets it. Two empty netters for Mitch Marner. Gives him the hat trick on the night. It's a six-goal. Third period. And the Toronto Maple Leafs lead this game 8-5. to five. Wow. I was mad. I was mad. I was. I really... Oh, Mark O'Reilly just got leveled right off the draw. Giordano takes... I think that's Ryan Johansson right back into the boards, giving them the business. All the goals in this game were scored by the first two lines. There's a huge stop there. At the end, off of Mikheyev... The crowd is booing at the Bridgestone Arena in Nashville because the Nashville Predators just gave up six in the third period, saving that man right there, Jack Campbell, who threw the puck out at the beginning of the third period when the Leafs were on the penalty kill right onto the stick of a Nashville Predator. I threw my controller because I was so mad because that put us down by three, and I thought the game was over. We only got three shots on net in the second period. We got more than double that. No, exactly double that in goals. In that massive third period. You'll see right there, six goals in the third for your Toronto Maple Leafs. 16 shots. We kept Nashville up to three. That's how you win hockey games. Let's just go into the team stats here. We don't normally do this, but Mitch Marner, five-point night. Giordano playing on that top line with Morgan Riley. Three assists, plus four. Tavares. Three points, goal, two assists. Love that. Love, love, love that. All the goals, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, scored by the first two lines. Who needs depth scoring? What a great night to be a Toronto Maple Leaf lover in this series. And hopefully that good luck, those good vibes, can translate to a big win against Boston tonight at the TD Garden, the house of horrors for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So uh, enjoy that game, and I ho hope you enjoyed this episode, which is episode number, what are we at? 62!
Can you believe that? Episode number 62. So thanks very much for watching. Like this video if you really like it. Subscribe if you really like it as well. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, which is episode number 63.